What's up, fellas? So I had a loyal patron supporter ask me a very good question. He wanted to know what qualities would I look for in a woman uh, as far as a baby mama. Now, this is a very good question, simply the fact that if you red pill, we pretty much accepted the fact we're never getting married and, and probably never getting in a relationship unless we go purple pill. So if you red pill and you want to leave a legacy, at some point you probably just going to bite the bullet and say, you know what? I just, I just fucking pay the child support if it comes to that. And you just accept that part of it. Because a lot of you guys, your paternal instincts are going to kick in and you're going to want to have kids. So I thought this was, and, and, and let's, let me speak on this too as purple pill guys. Even if you purple pill, this is important because as we know, nothing lasts forever. So just because the girl is sweet right now, you need to know the qualities that should be in her just in case things go bad. You just can't say, well, hey, this ain't shit. I got to worry about it. I ain't worried about no baby mom. I'm getting married. All this other bullshit. I'm in a long-term relationship. Guys, listen. That same girl you cuddled up with right now, two years from now, y'all goddamn be at each other's neck. I'm going to tell you that right now. So don't sit here and think just because everything lovey-dovey right now, you never know what the future holds. So you want to look for these type of qualities. I haven't decided what I'm going to do as far as this go. Ten years from now, who knows? I don't know. As of right now, I really don't plan on having no kids, but you never know. I might just say, you know what, man? I'm 50 years old. I need a little AMS Jr. Who knows? I don't. I, I hate when guys try to dictate what how they gonna feel 10 years from now. Y'all want y'all want to know something I heard a long time ago? If you want to hear God laugh, tell him your plans. That, that that's what I, I you know. If you want to hear God laugh, tell him your fucking plans. And it's exactly true. I always said back, when, you know, when I was in New York, I said, if somebody would have came to me when I was 27 and said, 10 years from now, you'll be living in New York, I would have said, how the fuck is that even possible? Like, what the hell is going to take me to New York? See, you just never know what going to come into your life, how things change. You just, you just fucking never know, guys. I mean, it's, it is crazy. 10 years from now, I might be living in Costa Rica. I don't fucking know. You can't. I don't plan on doing it now, but you just never know what the fuck comes in your life. You know, maybe you meet a good friend and he's like, hey, I got this great business opportunity for you. And but you got to move to Costa Rica, but it's going to pay you five million dollars a year. And you, you're going to do uh, radio over there right now. I can't even fathom that, but you just never know. OK, guys. So even if you don't plan on having kids right now. 10, 20 years from now, man, you just don't never know what life's going to take you. I mean, you <laughs> you just, you might be the fucking commissioner of the NBA. Who the fuck knows, man? Who the fuck knows? But anyway, number one quality, guys, how petty is she? Is she an vindictive bitch? And guys, if all you guys say, how am I supposed to know this? Simple, guys. How do she, like, do she give you the silent treatment when y'all disagree or something? Like, do she pout? Do she carry it on like, you know, usually when you're dealing with a sane fucking woman, y'all have a disagreement, you know, maybe things are a little cold for 30 minutes or an hour, but an hour, y'all put the shit behind y'all and y'all move the fuck on. Not when you get with a fucking vindictive, petty ass woman. Here is a whole week later, she's still walking her ass around soaking over that shit. Now you say, well, what the hell does that got to do with anything, AMS? Simple, guys. What the hell you think she going to do when you go out here and get another woman? So y'all, you got a kid by or two kids by her. Here it is two years later. Now you done moved on, got another girl. Let's just say you purple pill, you engaged, you posting on Instagram. Here her little pit ass go with all that bullshit. He ain't trying to keep you from your kid and all this other bullshit. You know, all this type of shit. So you don't want to be dealing with that. So if you're dealing with a woman who gives you the silent treatment, silent treatment now and all that, you think it's going to get better? You think it's going to get better with kids? It's going to get worse. It's going to get personified. Do you guys get that? It is going to get amplified when you get with her and have kids and move on with your life. She's going to get petty as fucking fuck. And this is when women, women who are vindictive, they try to keep you from your fucking kids. Do y'all guys understand that? So you don't know what happens? Guys who get with petty women, vindictive women, what they do is they stay in bad relationships because they know that's coming. So when guys, when guys, you, when you see, you know y'all guys got uh, male friends who got wives or girl living girlfriends and kids and all this other shit, 
What you'll see they do is they'll stay in a relationship simply on the fact that they know this woman gonna cause them trouble with, as far as seeing their kids if they break up. So they'll stay in there. You wanna be dealing with some shit like that? Just so you can see your kids because you know she, she gonna be doing all type of shit to prevent you from seeing your kids? Okay, guys, so you need to pay attention to that. She walk around soaking and shit now for two weeks of shit because uh, you want to go to this restaurant and, and she wanted to go to that restaurant and you said, well, hey, we went to the spot you went to last time. We going to the spot I want to this time. And now she mad, upset for two weeks because of that bullshit or she don't want to have sex with you because of that bullshit. You think it's going to get better when, with kids? It's going to get fucking worse, guys. Next, number two, self-sufficient. Guys, uh, as y'all guys might know, the court system goes in the woman's favor if you have kids. Most of us know that. So it's a good chance if y'all break up, she gonna have the kids, right? And if we red pill, we never in a relationship to begin with. So we in an open, we in an open type relationship type thing. And so you already dating other women and stuff. So, so all that don't even matter. But for purple pill guys. Or anybody, really. I, I told you guys, I don't deal with broke bitches. But the reason why her being self-sufficient is important is because she'll expect you to do more than even what the court system say. Let's hypothetically say she put you on child support. She'll expect you to do more. Also, guys, the kids are going to take after her. Since they're going to be living with her, they're going to take after her. If she's a lazy bitch, they're going to be a lazy bitch. Do y'all guys understand that? Or... Uh, uh, got a lot to do with it. It also goes to that victim mentality, what I was telling you guys about. You start to get this victim mentality, this dependent mentality, where you always, because since this way, see, any of y'all guys who didn't grow up, in the, grow, up, grow up in the hood and shit like this, you might don't know this, what people who got the victim mentality that grew up in the hood, what they do is they sit around, they try to plot out more ways they can get more money out the government. That's what they do. And guess what that does to your kids? This is what they do. Okay, guys, now we already, we know people come out of those situations and shit like that. I came out of a situation like that and things change. But a lot of people, this shit is ingrained in your head. This dependency, this, this dependent mentality. I don't want my kids with this fucking dependent mentality. And if they see the mama sitting around on Section 8, well, well guess what? I'm going to ride the system too. Okay, guys, so you don't... You don't you, you don't want to deal with that. And, and let's, let's hypothetically say she's not on food stamps, welfare, and all this shit. Let's say she do got a job, right? But she get help from men. Well, what she's teaching your daughter is, this is men are tricks. This is this what I'm talking about. She's te teaching her, my daughter that men are good for providing for you. I wouldn't want my daughter to be like that. I wouldn't want my daughter to be self-sufficient. What, what your son will see is, oh, she is grooming him to be a beta male provider because what he's going to see is he's going to see other guys paying mama bills, helping mama out with the bills, and he's going to start to think that this is the way it's supposed to be. I'm supposed to be a provider. So then he starts to get the, the, the mindset that I'm only worth what I make. I'm, 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 I'm not worth nothing if I'm not making anything. So he starts to, his self-worth is dependent on what his net worth is. I wouldn't want my son to, to feel like, okay, if I'm if, if I'm worth a thousand dollars, I ain't worth shit. But if I'm worth a million, I'm worth some. Fuck that. Fuck that. But if you got a self-sufficient woman in the household and that's who he's seeing, that's what he's gonna take after. So mama got me in providing for her. So that's what my job is. I'm supposed to be a beta man provider. I supposed to help women out. So what does this do? This groom him that I'm a lower value than a female. Because that's what he see. I wouldn't want my son to see that. I would, if, if it's me, if it's me, because I don't want my son to be a beta male provider. Guys, a lot of you guys don't understand why you have this beta male provider mindset. What you have been groomed to think is, I'm less than a woman, and so I have to compensate her financially. That's what, whether it's on TV or whether it's with your daddy. But that's what you've been groomed. That's how you was taught. I'm less than a female, so I have to take care of her in order for her to love me. You got that from somewhere. You Somewhere you was taught that. Or you saw it. Next, she can't be jumping in and out of relationships, guys. Now, this goes to the point of, you know, 
a lot of you guys don't know this. There's a lot of fucking uh, sexual predators out there, man. There's a lot of guys out there that will get... Let me tell y'all guys something. There's guys out there will get in a relationship with an unattractive mom because she got a hot daughter. A hot teenage daughter at the fucking house. Oh, you ain't got to be a teenager. These fucking creeps. Shit, you could be eight. I'm dead ass serious, guys. So... If you're dealing with a woman that's going to be jumping in, I don't care about her dating other guys. There's a lot of women that date a lot of guys, but they don't bring around the kids. When you're jumping in and out of a relationship, that means you got a whole bunch of guys coming around my kids. That's a problem. It also will teach my daughter that it's okay to be going from dude to dude to dude to dude. I wouldn't want my daughter to grow up like that. And it would also teach... My son, well, I guess she'll be, he'll be, she'll be doing a, a favor for my son. She'll be teaching him that women ain't shit and sluts. So I guess in that aspect, I guess that's good, right? He'll learn real, he'll learn at an early age that women ain't shit. Because that's, that's part of my grooming, guys, seeing it, all right? Some of my training came from seeing females in my family and shit, how they, how they were and shit, how they was creeping around on the, on the dudes they were talking to and shit. So a lot of my female uh, nature experience came from then. Okay, guys, but you don't, wouldn't, I wouldn't want a woman, and you can simply ask her this, guys, just simply ask her, when you date her, when was her last relationship? If she says a year ago or something like that, then you probably know she doesn't jump in and out of relationships. If you uh, talking to a woman, you ask her when her last relationship and, and stuff like that, and she said, and, and, and that, that's only a question that will come up, guys, if you're in this mindset. Okay, that's that's not something I even ask a girl because I'm just trying to fuck. I'm, but I'm talking about if I was specifically saying, okay, I'm ready to have a child, that question would come up. I wouldn't ask that question to a normal girl when the last, last relationship. I don't give a fuck, bitch. I don't give a fuck. You in a relationship now? What the hell I give a fuck? But if you're in the mindset of looking for a baby mama, that is definitely a question that needs to come up. All right, and the last one, guys, would be her feminine energy. So this is important, all right? So let me talk about this. As y'all guys might know, when a woman is in her masculine energy, she, when, when a woman's in her masculine energy, she acts bitchy, okay? The reason why she acts bitchy, guys, is because you have women are emotional and you, and you have the masculine energy which provides aggression. That's not a good combination. Now, understand what I'm taking this from. My kids are going to take out her energy. So, let's say I got a son, right? The reason why a lot of men are, the way they act, emotional, you combine that emotion with testosterone, you're going to have an aggressive person. So, when women do it, right? When women do it, when women are in their masculine energy, which means she has a, acting emotional and aggressive, this means that if, if she goes to the drive-thru and she get cold fries or her fries ain't as warm as she want them, she spouts off, bitch, you, 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 you. crazy because you got emotional with masculine energy. So she's aggressive while being emotional. Men, we're masculine, so we're aggressive, but we're logical. And so by being logical, I would say cold fries is not worth me cussing out this drive through worker for cold fries because I'm logical. Women have that aggressiveness when they're in their masculine energy combined, combined with emotional, not thinking logical. So I need to cuss her out because she gave me cold fries. If you got a son, right, this is when they're overly violent when they're acting, when they're, when they're, when they're carrying their feminine energy because even though they're acting emotional, they still got the aggressive testosterone in them so they're acting emotional that means they let everything move them off center everything moves me off center but i'm still aggressive this is why you have violence in the black neighborhood pre predominantly because you have the aggressiveness with the emotional that's not good and you damn sure don't want the female acting like that so i would want a woman that's high in her feminine energy because the kids are going to take after her. If she's acting masculine, which means that she's masculine, which means she's aggressive, with emotionally unstable, which means that she sprouts out about any little thing that twerks her, that gets on her nerves, 
we men, we have the same shit, but we're aggressive. If we, if somebody do something to us, we're logical. We say, hey, that's not worthy of the response. But with the masculine energy, you say, hey, I feel threatened by this guy. He looks like he's coming to cause harm to me or my family. I'm going to defend myself. That's the aggressiveness. But you only act like that when it's, when it's, you, when it's worthy of it. When you get women that act masculine with aggressiveness, every fucking little thing they snapping. So I don't want my kids to be around that because they going to take after that. A lot of you guys right now, you're emotional and you're in your feminine energy. You have the aggressive gene, but not in your emotional. So every little thing, you all, you all emotional and shit because you took after the fucking woman. All right, guys. So you will want to make sure she's a feminine woman, very feminine woman, not someone who's acting bitchy and, and emotional all the time and shit like that. It's not a good combination, guys. I don't want my son, every little thing that irks him or get on his nerve, he feel like he need to react. And your daughter either. All right? Your daughter too, guys. All right, guys. So those are the qualities I will look for in a baby mama. I'll get back with you guys.